construction video of the Cover Pro 10 by 17 foot portable car canopy from Harbor Freight. Got it for $199. It can often be seen at $179. Uh, this was done over the 2022 Thanksgiving break. Uh, still had an upper respiratory infection, so even with that, this can be completed in an hour or less um, if there's no hangups or mistakes. So enjoy the video, and we will see you at the end. Harbor Freight 10 by 17 car tent. I've put a few of these together already in the past. So let's go. Posts labeled one. We've got curvy things labeled six. We've got labeled two, label three, label four, and label five. First instructions are to get these A end pieces on with the post number fours in the middle, three of them. And then we have the B connectors in the middle. I'll show this last one. First, what I do is when I put this together, I put a piece of duct tape there. Without that, it is a mess. I tried building one of these the first time. And if you're doing it by yourself, these posts just fly everywhere. When you're trying to put them up, the whole uh, tent structure, the skeleton of it, uh, goes every which way. So you have to firm these up. So I'm putting screws here. You at least want to put duct tape if no screws. Do not put the screws on top like I did here. I had to remove these and redo them on the sides where I put the arrow. The reason is you do not want the tent material coming in contact with any screw heads. So definitely put them on the sides or underneath. Next step, we're gonna put the number threes in. If you're doing screws, do not put them in the top like this. Put them in the sides or underneath. You can see these will contact the material of the tent. We've got the metal screws into each joint. Just try putting this tent up without doing that. At the very least, you've got to use duct tape. We are going to assemble A2 and one, two, three, four long pieces and a B1. When you're putting this together, see how it's A2 here and A1 here? And you might say, hey, does this matter about where the door is, A1 or A2? Well, no. You got A1 on one side, A2 on the other side, A2 on one side, A1 on the other side. We've got an A1, we've got an A2, A2, A1, we've got three fours, and we've got two B1s in the middle. There's the B1s. So B1 into four, or four into the B1, really. Four into B1. You're going to go into here, B1, A1, B1, B1, A2, four, 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 four into the B1. All right, the four now goes into the B1, a four and an A1. And that goes into the, the A1 long piece, and then goes into the top. Here's an A2, should be an A2, it is. This is gonna go here, into the four, long piece, goes up toward the ridge of the roof, goes into this number three, and there we have it. Still have to do the other side, but first I am going to screw these all together. We're gonna do the other side. Before I do that, let's take a break. These have been up uh, for going on about three years. Very harsh winters here. Wind whips right across the farmer's field into our yard ferociously. And these have withstood that. These are my buddies. I let him put them up in my backyard. He's storing an old truck and an old vehicle in here. I had one of these for 
Oh, probably close to seven years and it finally gave out. Seven years for 200 bucks, not bad. So he's got his old Chevy in here. You can pick these up for 179. They, were, they always come on sale for 179. This Chevy, really cool. The other bottom part. Gonna put an A2 over there. Gonna put an A2 here. Um, what are these? B1s. B1. B1. Four and a half. Four, four. So we're gonna stick this in to the number three. Four, four, and four. All right, so this number four goes into this A2. This B1, long end goes up toward the ridge of the roof, goes into number three. Then the B1 goes into the four, and this four goes into the B1. Another B1 goes into the three. The long end of B1 goes up toward the roof. And we're gonna throw another four in into the B1. The A1, stick that long end of this A1 into the three, pointing toward the roof. And we're gonna stick your side number four into the A1. And I'm gonna screw those in. Once again, if you just caught this video in the middle at this point, do not put the screws facing outward that would touch any part of the tent material. Put them on the sides or underneath. So now we got the leg and feet assembly. So we're looking at number ones, which are here. We're looking at number ones and the number sevens. Here's your number 12, MX by 50 hex head bolt and you've got four of them. And they are right here, this is what they look like. You got your number 14 M8 nut, and you've got 16 of those. And this is what they look like. The legs. Okay, we've got our number ones. This is what we're looking at here. Place a foot on the bottom of the center stand, and we're gonna put a bolt through the hole. These are our number ones. The side that isn't smaller, it's the same circumference goes into this leg. Uh, it's not even marked. So we're gonna put the bolt in. We got a number two and we got a number six. This is gonna be the corner. Hey, look at that, it came already rusted. I'm gonna to complain to uh, G. He's sending out faulty products. My dad never was fond of communist China. He came out to China with a student visa just before the communists took over. Although my father came here with $20 in his pocket, my grandfather was a senator in China. And as soon as the communists took over, as soon as Mao took over, his whole family was imprisoned. So he wasn't too fond of China's, loves Chinese people. And I love the Chinese people. Chinese government, that's another matter. So we've got another two here. Four screwed together. This whole thing would just topple. That's what was happening the first time I bought this. Forget it guys, it's impossible. So if you don't have a screw gun, Make sure you duct tape these things together. And a seven. And we're going to put these together. We got a one and a seven. Why is she in a wheelbarrow? Huh? Because they dumped some leaves. And she jumped in there? No. Oh. Claire, she's going for a ride. Yeah.
it wants me to do this first put the anchors into the these legs I'm not going to yet I'm going to put this on first so I can put these legs exactly where I want them square them up once the stuff is on because when I put those in the legs those uh involve driving spikes or turning spikes into the ground and I want to square up the tent exactly how I want it before I do that so we're going to put this back cover on that involves taking this top piece right here apart. So I'll get up there and I'll undo the duct tape and I'll undo the screw and we're gonna stick this string underneath this. Taking this one off, this one off, and this corner. This top corner right here is going to go through that post. I want you out, and I want this one out. There we go. Just shake it. Shake it like a Polaroid picture, right? This one is in there. Luckily, They've, taught, they've tied the bottom of the So, this piece here. That is what ties the cables in to these legs. You'll see in a minute. You will need a 5 16 or an eight millimeter for these. This one is what I said I was gonna tighten up earlier. That is the feet on the bottom of the inner parts of the tent. And those need tightened up. And then there are going to be side struts here you're going to see me install and those need tightened up and that will be you'll need either a 14 millimeter socket or you will need a, a 9 16 so we're going to sink these supports in now so here's a corner foot we're going to put a cable through handy dandy spike I found in the yard So this damn thing pulled through. Immediately when you open this box, before you do anything else, I want you to take these things and I want you to put them on these ropes. Because if those go through, it's a pain in the butt. So right when you open the box, so right when you open the box to this whole kit, you put these ratchets on these straps. It will save you so much aggravation because these things will pull through. Now, one of the back door, these were tied together, but it doesn't matter because you have to untie them to put the tent up. I think this one came through too. Yeah, so this one is no longer coming out of the bottom. Luckily, I've had this kit to put wire through walls. And that's the only thing I can think of to get it through there. I'm going to tape that strap 
to this thing and get it through that hem. So I'm gonna put a little duct tape on this strap. Yes, we do. She comes out the other end. Snaking a piece of rope through the tubing. I'm going to put these in the corner ropes. Here, 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 and here. This is the next day and it is soaked here. So I hooked this ratchet strap into the stake and I pulled the cover on and I hooked the other one here, pulled it through as tight as possible and then ratcheted it down, not all the way because I want to still adjust the front. I'm going to pull that over and tighten it down so it sits tight encompassing the front of that pole. Oh, fingers are wet and it's freezing out here. So just trying to record a little bit. I'm ratcheting this front end on. Okay, but here's the inside. It's nice and dry in here. Poles still have to go in here. but I am firming the whole thing up. When it's sloped like this, the water just rolls off. I'm gonna get this gold stitching hem in the middle here, so I gotta pull that over a little bit. So I've got my ladder here, and I'm gonna straighten out the top. And you can see it here. Here's the hem. Move that over some. I now have that hem stitching right in the middle, all the way down the center pole in the peak of the roof. And I'm going to make these tight so this tent slopes just like the rest. I am now putting in the last remaining poles. Those are the number fives in the bottom of the tent. That's going to really stretch the tent out tight and give the bottom part of this tent its structure. So we've got three fives to go in here. One, two, three. One, two, three. You will have four pair of these connectors that do not have a connector on the other side. They come to an end point and hook to the ends of the tent. And these, which connect on both sides of the leg, and then these, which just connect on the ends. I'm gonna put a, that bolt through here, uh, as I did here. And then pole comes through. I'm gonna put another pole here to connect to this one. Need another one here. We're gonna put a connector here. After you put these on loosely, ratchet them down with a socket tightly and push down on the pole as you are doing it so that it tightens up the fabric. So from the inside of the tent, I'm going to get in here and finish lining up this door. See the zipper here? And it's way higher here. I'm going to play with the door setting with the ratchets and just pulling it and getting it centered. Okay, now we can see the door is more even. The zipper's about even here and here. Maybe a little too high over here still, but I'm going to ratchet little by little each side so that we get this door on straight. What I don't show you in this video is I've always added a ratchet strap from a top corner to the opposite bottom corner, opposite the end of the door, so that it really firms the tent up. Nice to get my tractor back under cover. I remove the grass collector and the deck and store it in here for the winter. I wanna do some maintenance on both the grass collector and the deck. 
So that'll be stored in the garage. Very good, all done. Under 200 bucks, not bad.